بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله we've been looking at the concept of taqwa which is again one of the most reiterated ideas in the Quran the the, the Quran actually begins uh, with after al-fatiha بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام م ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين هدى للمتقين this is a guidance for the people of taqwa and so taqwa is absolutely at the core of the Quranic message as I reiterated uh, before the the very first commandment is a commandment to taqwa now in Taha, Surah Taha, the Prophet ﷺ is being addressed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ وَاسْطَبِرْ وَاسْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا that command your family to prayer and be deeply patient in this وَاسْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا one of the things about uh, the Arabic language Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have said وَاسْبِرْ عَلَيْهَا be patient with it when, when you add something, it intensifies the meaning. And here, the, the, the letter that was added to the, the, the verb sabara yasbiru, to be patient, was ta, which is an emphatic letter. It's one of the emphatic letters in Arabic. So it's a very strong, well, sabir alayha means to really be deeply patient in it. Asta'inu bil sabri wa sala, that seek help from prayer from patience and prayer. And then Allah reminds us, Lanas Aruka Rizqa. We don't ask for provision. We're not asking you for provision. You don't what we're asking you for is devotion. We will provide for you. We have to do those things that get the provision, but the provision is there. We will provide for you. Nahnu narzukuka. We will provide for you. Walaqibatu li taqwa. So the, 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 the phrase comes in this verse about prayer, that with this prayer, you are preparing yourself for the inevitability of victory, the victory of the soul over the ego, the victory of the mosaic reality over the pharaonic reality, the victory of truth over falsehood, the victory of justice over oppression. This is, this is what prayer, at the essence of prayer, it's in order for you to constantly go back to God, no matter how difficult things get, that you go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with prayer. Sta'inu bil sabri wa sara. Take isti'ana, take aun from God. Take your solace, your help, your succor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so this is, this is what Allah is telling us. Now in another verse in Surah Al-Qasas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about tilka darul akhira that this abode of the afterlife that we have made naj'aluha lil ladina la yuriduna uluwan fil ardi wa la fasada that they don't want to be exalted in the earth nor do they want corruption in the earth wal aqibatu lil muttaqin and the end affair is for the people of taqwa. Again, it's a reminder that these are people, the akhirah has been set aside. So the great victory, if we don't, we can, there are times when the Muslims have seen victory in this world, uh, the, the people of truth. When, when it was Bani Israel, when, when, when the Israelites were on the truth, God gave them victory over Pharaoh. Pharaoh was drowned. He, he, was, he drowned in the ocean. Um, and, and God gave them entrance into the promised land because they were the people of truth. They were adhering to these principles and being guided by them. The Prophet ﷺ gave victory also to the people of, of Jesus uh, over his, his enemies at that time. So in that case, it was the opposite. Now the, the people of, of Israel who opposed Jesus at the time. So. And this is part of the problem with human beings is that we oscillate. So there are times when we're powerless, there are times when we're in power. Depending on how we respond to that power is depending on who we're with. Are we with God or are we with Pharaoh? Those are the two choices. You're either with God or you're with Pharaoh. And there's really no in-between in this. And so this idea of 
the Darul Akhira being placed for those who don't want to be exalted in the earth, like Pharaoh. Pharaoh Alaf al Ard, he, he elevated himself in the earth. Whereas uh, the people of, of, of the, the Mosaic people, the Jesuit people, the Mohammedan people, uh, peace be upon all of our prophets, these are the people who humble themselves. Uh, the servants of the merciful. And inshallah, we're going to look at those 12 attributes that define the servants of the merciful. The servants of the merciful who tread lightly on the earth. They walk lightly on the earth. They tread lightly on the earth. It's interesting now we talk about carbon footprints. People that have heavy carbon footprints that pollute a lot. The people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are people that are, they tread lightly on the earth. They don't want to be exalted in the earth. And so this idea uh, that the akhirah is made for those they don't want either to be exalted or corruption. And these two tend to go together. So this is, this is a really important thing to remember, is that when people become arrogant, they tend then to become oppressive. They tend to sow corruption in the earth. And this is the nature of Pharaoh as opposed to the nature of uh, the prophetic tradition which is the way of Moses, the way of Jesus, the way of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu All of them are our Prophets, but we're from the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam. Alhamdulillah, Jazakumullah Khairan, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh.